guys, what's going on? FY Pawn here, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, Definitive Edition. Now, I must admit, it's been a while, and I must admit, I was considering, you know, leaving this off, but I, I'm i trying to change this mindset I have of just not doing things, so I'm getting back into the swing of things and just pushing it out there so you guys got your content for the uh, foreseeable future. I don't want to end this on a uh, burnout note, so we're just going to keep going through the months and just pushing through, getting content out, and yeah. Since we last left off, I can honestly not remember, but I do have a rough idea of what we are going to be doing. Today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be clearing the majority of the game up at least in the current zone we're in, and we're going to move on to the next area, hopefully, if we have enough time. But we'll have to see what we can do, and hopefully by the end of it, we will have gotten some extra books, gotten a few other trinkets and doodads completed among the area, and we'll see how things pan out. But I digress. Without further ado, let's get into things and see what happens. Now, as you know, it's been a while, so I might have forgotten a little bit of what's been going down, but for the most part, I know the basics. I know that I'm going solo, I'm summoning specifically three random creatures every single, well, not random, but three select creatures every single battle that I utilize to my, you know, whatever situation I fall into. And I got a bunch of spells on standby, ready for whatever I run into. Now, I will need to increase the diversity of my spells, obviously, because with the amount of spells I have, even this might not be enough for uh, the future, but we're trying our best. We're doing the best we can with uh, what we're given. It appears that we are currently halfway up to a level up. We are currently level 15. That is a good thing, because we are getting closer and closer to the area that we need to be at. Uh, I do believe our first objective is actually going to be going over to the hatch here, because there is a mare to doing so. From there, there, we can go to the Mortis Excavation Sites. I'm half tempted to go there, specifically, because there is something there that we can do. But I think I'm going to hold off for personal reasons. We have a few other things to do with the Blood Moon Isle, but I'd like to focus on the hatch first and foremost, for obvious reasons. You'll understand why soon enough, but there is reason to do in this. I'll just hit that, there we go. And we want to go down south here past this house if I'm correct. Yep, and we just go into here and we can sneak into the area. Or at least, we can try. <laughs> Hello, Grivet. I guess we can talk with you before we go in. Oh my god, stop looking at me! You're making my venom itch! Oh, okay. Doesn't want to talk with us, that's fine. Okay, we've already looted this area, I believe. The only thing we haven't done is actually go inside. So, with the key that we've gotten, we can go in and investigate. There is a few things around here, here and there. We just need to uh, figure it out, what we're going to be finding. Okay, we got a few crates here. I guess we can check these out. There's no harm in it. Not unless we've run into, you know, something actually problematic. I'm really not well. Said oh. Not to worry about the rats. Hmm. Yeah, the cows did say that, didn't they? Apparently the rats are explosive. That's not a good thing. Although that said. That might actually work in our favor if these are rats. Because, if I'm correct, if we go into a sneak here, 
And if we open our inventory, we should have cheese, shouldn't we? At least I think we do. Uh, it would be under consumables. Okay, no, I do not have cheese, unfortunately. If I did, I would have gotten the, the ability to deal with them. Although, I suppose that isn't going to stop us. We can just summon something, and it would prove just as effective. Yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to throw in... Yeah, we're going to move over to here, specifically. We are going to... I guess I could do a fireball instead. Or, better yet, I could make myself immune to fire, but I think a fireball would arguably just be better. Here we go. Here we go. Get some fire in there. Uh, I guess, actually, no, I could just summon something in here, and it would equally do the same. So there's a bone golem. Now, if I move you... ...into the center, to just slowly take out the rats be a problem. There we go. <laughs> it's just doing its duty. Okay. I think we got most of them. Can't say for certain. I'll just throw a fireball just to be sure. Good thing I'm, uh, fairly indestructible. Yeah. Most of them are just burnables. Hello? Yeah, no, most of the rats are just problematic. I think there might have been, like, one rat that was safe. But better to be safe than sorry, huh? For now, I'll just grab what we can here. Eh, nothing too crazy, just a few books here and there. Got that lever, which we can pull there. And that'll let us go through here. And we're left with a frog named Zippet. And a few other things. Alright, we got a few bottle racks here. I guess we can talk with the frog, or try to. I mean, why not, right? Hello. Oh, you won't take it off me. You won't take it off me. What? Why? What won't I take off you? The book. Alice's book. You won't take it off me. Alice's book, huh? Poison pumpkins. There's a few. Oh, there's a witch potion. Interesting. Okay, we got a few bottle racks that we can get. I guess the book is probably important to uh, making more potions. Take those, take these. We'll take the painting, because we can. Knife is useless. Chicken foot's always nice. Tea herbs. We got a few garlics that we can grab, I suppose. Nothing too crazy. Empty potion bottle. I assume most of these ingredients are to make another potion, but... Who knows? But, considering the frog is aligned with Alice, I'm not inclined to make them live, so I'm just going to teleport them out. Huh. Cease. Well, frog's dead. We managed to get the giblets and witch potion notes. Which is probably going to be useful in a moment. Let's see. Here we go. 
The witch's chicken scratch handwriting is filled with anquictated anquic language and arcane symbols. You understand that this is a recipe of some sort, but you cannot pierce together the mystical concepts. Hmm. So I'd need somebody to help me identify it more than anything. Huh. Uh, I can't get in there unless I find a way to teleport through gates, which I can't. So that is a tough break there. But I mean, we got everything here. Hmm. Question is, how am I going to get this resolved? I need somebody to identify the symbols. I don't... Hold on. Maybe I can... Okay, no. Nothing there helps. It's a shame. How about you, oh Gribbit? Oh my god, stop looking at me! Okay, I guess I could take out Gribbit, because they are part of the witches' group, so I might as well get rid of their uh, familiar. So I might as well take them out while I have the chance. It'll be a little bit of a fight, but whatever. There we go. They're gonna back off. Burning. Yeah, they weren't expecting that. For obvious reasons. I'll just petrify them. And do that. There we go. Take him out quick and easy. That gets us some experience. Given they're not going to be helping us anytime soon, we might as well just take the experience and just go move on. No evil action there, to say the least. Uh, let's see, hold on. Uh, witch's potion, yeah. This horrifying brew reeks of farmyard and abdur, serving bone mix. Disturbing bovine mix. It was prepared by the witch in the fields. Okay, so we got we basically got both potions. Uh, as for whether they work on these cows, I'm not sure. But before we do, I want to check if they are useful to us personally. But I'm I'm not sure. So give me a second. All right, let's see. Here we go. Which which potion recipes? Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't say what it does, so I could just make another potion. Because I do have the recipe on hand, I believe, thanks to picking up that book. So if I go into crafting panel and I go to recipes, I want to go to potions, I believe it is, and scroll all the way down. Witch's Brood Potion. I need Witch's Eye, which I've already made, so I guess we've already got it. Uh, it doesn't specify what recipe it does for me, but I will check just to be sure. Well, I guess I could actually test it. Why not? Uh, actually, no, I think it actually uh, converts me into a cow if I drink it, if I'm not mistaken, so... It's better to not. Hello. Did you get it? Did you get the potion? Yeah, I have two bottles for the potion. Oh, I only need one. Geraldine, that's great news. One each. All right, what's in it for me? Uh, look, we're cows who were once people who were enslaved and bewitched by a nasty old, uh, witch. We don't have much to offer. I can always keep the potions. Wait! But the po 
potion is of no use to anyone but us. Listen. I worked my butt off for these potions. The least you can do is re reward me. I used to sell recipes in Driftwood. I can do that again. Anything you want. And I'll tell you where my secret stash is. You have a secret stash? You think it's still there? I hope so. Shh! He'll hear us. Hmm. Alright, fine. Great? Yes, great! These All can right, take there effect you go. any moment now. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Is that thanks enough? I don't think a thank you is enough, Mabel. I'd better mark his map for him. Uh, thank you so very much. You'll see me in Driftwood for cheap recipes. Um, free recipes? At least one free recipe. See me in Driftwood. We'll talk. My potion's starting to work, Mabel. Here we go. There we go. Well, I'd say that's that. Ah, it's you. You'll want your reward, I suppose. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. And thank you for not mentioning, you know. Okay, so it doesn't appear that she has anything of too much value, but I mean, selling paper alone allows for a lot of versatility. I like this place. It's nice. I could always uh, sell her stuff and just make off with the rest like a loot bandit, but honestly, I see nothing of her. Uh... Yeah, whatever. All right. Well, I did a good deed. All the all the same. Whether that was a good thing to do or not, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I digress. We did what we could. With that said, I do believe we can go to Jahan and go get that. Uh, there is also the chest that this guy mentioned. Cow's secret stash. So we'll go grab that first. It's a little bit of a boon if you, you know, get it. Uh, you are gonna... Honestly, I think the biggest hurdle for us right now is uh, mainly the diplomacy part. Because the thievery stuff you can increase exponentially, but later on in the game you will get the increases easier, I do believe. It just requires a lot of time and effort to get all these sorts of things sorted and situated. But I digress. We may have found what Geraldine and Mabel are looking for. Yeah. So yeah, if you manage to succeed in your diplomacy check, which shouldn't be too hard, you manage to get some gold and a teleportation scroll. It's nothing too crazy, but hey, loot's loot. If you're gonna go through the the effort of killing the witch and saving them both, you might as well just get it done. Now, before I go to Jahan, I do believe there is one other thing that I wanted to do, and that will require us to warp into Driftwood Square. We are going to want to head over, I do believe, this direction, and we want to head over to the Mortis Excavation Site, specifically, because there is a suit of gear that we can definitely use on our venture. Or at least that is the intended plan. Uh, Ooh, how there is going to be an inevitable fight here. Uh, source hounds just be like that, so we're gonna we're gonna have to take him out. This will just make our travel a little easier. Kind of sucks for them, but it's it say it's just going around. I'd rather just get them dealt with so that way we get to experience accordingly a little bit grim for our heroes but I mean they're the ones provoking violence so we'll just take it in strides originally I was being temp or uh, temperamental about it but yeah it doesn't really matter now that we're at the end 24 
Here we go. Save with that in mind. Stream 24. Let's go. Hello. Halt. The hound smells sauce on you. Plenty of it. But haven't got a cod. I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave. Hounds, at the ready. Hmm. I guess, now that I think about it, I don't have to attack them. I'm gonna hold up my writ of passage. I got permission from the order to enter. Fine, fine. Do all the gallivanting you want. But if a hand goes snapping at your heels, I'm looking the other way. Alright. Hey. I sense sauce on you. Yeah. Alright, well, it seems like they're not going to attack me, so I guess that saves the trouble there. I guess I could attack them and get the experience, but there's no reason. Eh. Thanks again, stranger. No problem. Now, I do believe that if we go all the way over to here... Yep, yeah, this is the area that we need to go. Because I do believe we need to do something specific here. I think we need source meat was the requirement. Yeah, there's like some sort of puzzle that I had to do here. The slab remains lifeless, but you sense power lurking within the cold stone. Let's read them real quick, just to make sure. Half the runes are words. The rest are corresponding musical notes. The inscription, the melody, is similar to a popular dwarven drinking song, though the modern version is markedly less macabre. The okay. central rune is stained black with a thousand years' worth of blood. A relatively fresh coating flakes off in the wind. Okay, now, if I recall correctly, this quest required of me... Yeah, if I go into the... Panel. Uh, I do believe I have an ingredient of some kind here. Or at least there was the intent to use an ingredient here. I just can't recall what I had, what it was. I think it was like source hound meat. Hold on. Okay, not grimoire. Objects. Might be it. Not wood pulp. It should be under food, maybe? Ah, uh, where is it? It is not classified as a food, nor is it a dinner. My mistake. I know it's an armor of some kind that leads into it. But it requires a uh, blessed feather. Feathers, I believe. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I, I do believe I know what I need, I just need to actually make it, so give me a second. Uh, let's see, Raven Armor, I believe it's called. Okay, keep calm, carry in. Okay. We're definitely not going for the peaceful resolution, so I'm going to need raw mutton, earth essence, and a source orb to get the summon ability, I do believe. So, for that in that regard, we are going to need to go back to the Riftwood, I believe, and we're going to have to buy some mutton real quick. Trader Thun. Back again, eh? Looking for anything in particular? Yes, I need to buy some raw mutton. I'll balance the exchange. As you will, chum. All right. Now, if we go into our crafting, which should be G, yep. Okay, we need to combine not ham, but not in any mood to talk about it. All right, one source orb. We need a singular piece of raw mutton. And what was it? It is Earth Essence. Here we go. Combine. There we go. Source infused meat. 
All right, now we just got to make our way back over and we should be good. It's going to take us a little bit to get over there, but that's fine. The small venture is going to be required no matter what. I am really tempted to take these guys out, actually, but for the sake of the town, I'm not going to. Now that I realize that it can be peaceful, so... Something got your attention, boy. Yeah, it's just me. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah. We just need to make our way over here, and we need to use the source-infused meat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we just need to place it down. Uh, I had to check the guide once more just to make sure this was going to work. But yeah, no, if we go into our magical do pickies, we're going to auto-sort this. I believe it goes into, yep, yeah, miscellaneous, here we go. Alright, we are going to close this. We are going to move all the way up here. Because this is going to require some, uh, at, at least a little bit of advantage. We're going to save here. And we will drop the source-infused meat. Okay, I guess we're not doing it that way. Soul does not belong to Duna. Why do you call on his undertaker? The death that feasts. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What can I do? I just want to check to see what I get if I do this. Hmm. Oh, I see. Interesting. Uh, I'm here to receive its blessing. Every falling feather judges your heart. Act with honor or be consumed. All right. What you want to do is you want to bow with your arms outstretched. Once you ask for its blessing. The beast leans closer, its putrid breath washing over you. It is primed to pounce. The faithful must offer an answer. What is yours? I will quietly request its blessing. The creature perks up, blinking rapidly with anticipation. Why? All right. And this is a choice that I'm actually going to be answering honestly, given the circumstances. I intend to save the souls of the fallen. The vulture drags its talons across the altar, scratching deep into the surface. You brace yourself for an attack. Your right is true. Do not call upon me again. All right, and for it, we get Blessed Vulture Feathers. If we had failed that negotiation, it would have resulted in a set of Cursed Vulture Feathers, and would have resulted in a fight, which is, you know, arguably better when it comes to uh, experience. But at the same time, I don't think it actually gives you any experience from the looks of it. Uh, give me a second to let me check. Hmm. Okay, hmm. All right, around uh, 400 XP for for combat or 200 for appeasement. Okay, so both both antics would have resulted in a lot, very little EXP. But hey, we got the blessed feathers now, and we can use those feathers to create. If we go over to the 
Where is it? We go over to the armor tab. Here we go. We go all the way down. And if we get the required materials, starting with all of... Well, going through all of them, we are going to need to get a set of leather armor. But other than that, we can get some nice snazzy gear. Mind you, these can be crafted. As for what they do, I think there's like a set level for them. I can't be certain. Uh, let me check. Their armor, here we go. Uh, let's see. So you get a level 14 armor set with level 9 and 10, which, yeah. If you read all books, level 14, otherwise level 15. Hmm. The vulture armor itself could be created by combining long cursed feathers, okay, with any finesse based gear. Among other features, the full set offers some unique perks. Okay. Here we go. Vulture set and stats and descriptions. Okay, so it has a set level. Okay, so I'm not too worried about what we get, ultimately, in the end, when it comes to this sort of stuff. We they just need to actually get some leather armor, so give me a sec. Buying or selling? Capital. Trading. Good luck to you. All right. Equipment. We are going to want leather armor, so let's see. We go to equipment here. We want a... I guess, yeah, no, we've already got the best sale value, so we need something that is finesse-based. That's actually a pretty good helmet, actually. You know, that's really good, actually. Immunity to Charmed and Terrified. Getting rid of Charm will prevent me from being, you know, controlled, which is really good. Getting Scoundrel and Air Theurge is tempting. Uh, it does lose out on the Geomancer and Summoning, but... I mean, that's a small cost. We could also get a unique wand if we really wanted to, but there's no need. <laughs> it's tempting to get Prism again, though, but whatever. Uh, let's see. I don't know what would be good... Hmm. I don't know what would be good, uh... Pliable pants here. I'm gonna end this and I'm gonna actually go over to. I might be able to trade with the dwarf here if he's still around. I highly doubt it, but you never know. He... Yeah, no, he's here. Okay, cool. I might be able to take this guy out. You want an engraved invitation every time? You know the way in. Yeah, no, but I wanted to get some uh, gear from you real quick. Okay, so leather gloves. Okay, so leather breeches. We're going to go for the 83 here. We just need a light helmet. There we go. We've already got the gloves. We are going to need a pair of boots. We could get these. Start Isaac's Entry. Start combat by casting Healing Tears for free. And start combat with favorable winds. Yeah, it's alright. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we got a few daggers, which we don't need, I don't think. Yeah, we'll just balance out the price here. Alright, we are going to go to the crafting panel. We're going to go to recipes. We don't need arrows, we need armor specifically. Okay, we got the vulture mask. The vulture legs. The claws. The mask, legs, claws. We need the mantle, which is the chest piece, and the boots. 
So we need a leather chest piece and leather boots from the looks of it. Okay, let's go to armor. Okay, how do we make... Alright, so hold on. Handmade leather armor requires needle and thread. So I guess we need to go into objects. Uh, let's see. Needle and thread. Well, I guess we just need two needles and thread, so... As long as we get those, I think we can make do. We just need to get some materials accordingly. Maybe... You got any thread? No. Hey, uh, Ovis. Yeah, have you got any string and thread? Highly doubt it. Nope. Yep, yep. Keeping it together, Bree. How about you Ada? Look strange. And we already got more of that than we need around here. Okay, how about Glad you, Bree? Well. Anything more? Have you got string? You've got a needle. So we can use that. I think we can use the rope. Uh, actually, let's not. But we need thread now. We could use the potion bottles, though. I'll just take the needle, because I know I can use that. Okay, we need to go into crafting panel. Let's go into recipes. Okay, let's see. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. All right. Never forget it. Let's quickly get the thread. All right, so we got the needle. We just need the thread. Uh, we actually do have thread. So wait, can't we just make the armor now? Oh, needle and thread. Okay, so we just needed a needle. We have the thread alone. Okay, we can now make the armor. Uh, let's see. We need a leather shirt and it together, leather boots. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it. So handmade much. leather armor. You're safe among friends. Never forget. Okay, and from there we can make the vulture mantle. There we go. And now we just need uh, leather boots. That should be too hard. Uh, I do believe if we talk with Trader Haran, he might have it. Alright, let's see. Leather boots, here we go. Balance it out, there we go. And with that, we go to the crafting panel once more. Honestly, thought this was going to take a lot longer, but we do now have the entire Vulture Talon set. There we go. Okay, equipment. Let's see. We've got the vulture armor, which gives speed and initiative. Mind you, this is level four or uh, level fourteen armor. It's not as strong as Emrock or anything of the sorts, but there is benefits to using it. The hunger of Duna's Undertaker empowers the complete set, boosting the armor level to fourteen. Consuming corpses revitalizes and further strengthens it, the wearer. So, if you consume plenty, you get more abilities, I do believe, is the gimmick with this armor. Uh, I'm not 100% certain, though. Or, uh, pre preparation... Yeah, you get some nice benefits, basically. Uh, endurance increases your armor values, Huntsman. It's pretty good stuff. Uh hmm. There's a lot of cold for the junkies. Okay, let's see. All right. Blend set, yeah, curse set. All right. Uh Hmm, I don't see any benefits for increasing it further. Oh, 
Okay, hmm. Okay, yeah, no, uh, you basically explode corpses for healing and get a 15% damage buff. That is all that you get from this. Although, if you're looking for something to sneak in, the boots are certainly something worth considering. Uh, if you're looking for a boost in Endurance or Huntsman or Specialist, this is the way to go. Uh, if you're looking for anything else that this armor has to offer, nothing really sticks out, but if you wear the full set early on, it's really great to have. At least that's what I personally believe. I just didn't get it early because, well, I was busy with other things and I liked the challenge that came with it. But. The only reason I got it this time is strictly because of the sneaking buff. That is going to help us get to certain areas, which we couldn't get to before, so we're just going to take this in stride. But, I digress. For now, we are going to go to Jahan, I believe, because that is the next thing on our list, I do believe. And I want to save a certain thing for last, but you'll understand that soon, when I get to what that is. But yeah, we're going to talk over with Jahan, and we are going to resolve that situation. Or at least that is the intended plan. It's looking like I'm uh, drained of source, but whatever. It's no big deal. Hello, Jahan. How fair is the hunt, my friend? Well, you got I got good news. The advocate is dead. I killed him myself. He smiles brightly and pulls you in for a short, if warm, embrace. You've done me proud, the Godwoken. Prouder than you could ever realize. I know how twisted the paths can get. How much more alluring the sunny glade than the rock-strewn hollows. But you know it's the darkest roads that lead to light. It will be my honor to teach you. The nature of my lesson, though, might be somewhat different from what you expect. I can deepen your bond with the Source, but you must realize that this bond comes at a cost. All life, after all, sustains itself by consumption. Like the grass feeds the herd, and the herd feeds the hunter. So you must feed, for instance, on bees. He waves a hand to the cage in demonstration. Hmm. You gotta be kidding. I must draw power from demons? The very same. For the sum of source that flows through their festering flesh is more than enough to expand the sum that is yours. Through demise, a chance of divinity. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. I'm quite ready. Then let us begin. Jahan's incantations befog your mind. All of you is thumping blood, pumping, pumping, pumping. Then, all you hear, then all that is, is screaming. From the cage to you, their blood in your ears, screaming. Silence. That is all. Their sons have set to serve a greater dawn. The world awaits your true awakening. You are very powerful already. A master of the source. But I did not let this burst of power go to waste. It lies condensed on parchment for you to read and learn. He hands you a book, hot to the touch. A sparkle with source. Well, thank you. It was rather inspiring. My pleasure. And now that the lesson has ended, there is one more matter I would like to discuss. Offer you a chance to deepen our alliance. You see, the demon that you killed 
the advocate. He had a master. You might say the advocate compared to his master like the pussycat compares to the tiger. It is the tiger I am truly hunting. Now don't you worry. I have no intention of sending you after this arch demon. There are few enough Godwoken as it stands for me to force them into any real danger. The one thing I would like you to do for me, though, is to return through the mist to the Isle of Blood and uncover there his name. Why do you want this archdemon's name? A demon's true name is its weakness, which is why it basks in being known by a thousand different aspects of its inmost self. But such dark magic was wrought upon Blood Moon Island that its inmost self must have been there in its true guise, exposed so that it could wreak ultimate havoc. That is when its name must have been spoken. And when spoken, heard. Over there, among the blood, in the darkness of the ruins, Amid the mangled dead, his name still rings, however faint. For once spoken, the echo of a demon's name never truly fades. Return to the island, Godwoken, and listen. All right. But yeah, that is Jahan's whole thing. And we just gotta basically go back to Blood Moon Island, but before that, I will show you what he gave us in turn. So, if you already have three source points available, you get various skill books from the teachers that you come across. One specifically unique to Jahan is the Inner Demon skill book. The Inner Demon skill book allows you to conjure a demon that will share their intelligence with you and provide you a boost to magical armor. It also grants the power to terrify and protect yourself with demonic fists. Now, naturally this is a source skill, so I won't see much use in it, but I decided to learn it strictly for a narrative purpose and something a little interesting to add to Steve's lore. That is why he's so cool with demons. He's cool with uh, taking their power and using them to his benefit. After all, as long as you're smart with it, you can probably deal with the devil as much times as you want. Mind you, you have to play the fiddle, but know when to stop. But I digress. He's willing to help demons as much as the other person, because, well... I mean, at the end of the day, they're suffering from this source madness too, so... Might as well lend a hand where you can. But, I digress. I'm gonna do some spirit vision stuff, and see if I can't find what I'm looking for. I might actually be able to talk with the... guys that I ended up killing and extracting some useful information out of them. At least I predict. Uh, the only flaw with going with Jahan, I do believe, is strictly due to... Well, as far as I'm aware, there's only one negative, I do believe, and that would be the whole... Uh... I'm not sure. I do believe you can only draw from the power of demons, so... Source Vampirism might be weaker, I think. I'm not sure. I think it's more a flavor thing, though, more than anything. But I digress. It's still a helpful tool, definitely worth using, so don't turn it down if you can. But I digress. We will be the scorching lightning, the searing pain forever. Now, there is this that we've got to deal with, so I'm going to try and figure out solution here. Oh. Oh, whoops. That's not what I intended. I just wanted to loot this guy. 
Okay, I guess violence is what we're doing. Oh well. I mean, I didn't want to do this, but okay. Kind of forced my hand here. Okay, we will teleport. Alright, teleport the Flower Maiden over to her friend here. We're gonna do Vine Grasp to lock these guys into place. There we go. And we're gonna immediately go invisible and force their turns to go through for rounds. There we go. Now we just gotta wait for them, basically. Wasn't exactly expecting a combat just by interacting with an object, but whatever. They're doing mischievous, no good stuff here anyway, so hey. Might as well, uh... Lend a hand. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm currently invisible, so that's a good thing. Let's see, is there any bodies? I can take advantage of the bodies here, so... There is some merit to doing this. We are going to use this body to help. There we go. Uh, I can make my own body here, I guess, if I really wanted to. I don't think I'm going to do that. Instead, I want to... I think I want to actually use Contamination here. Yeah, if I use Contamination, I might be able to charm the Pain Weaver here. Burning Warm. He's got a slight resistance to poison, but not enough to warrant his uh, immunity. Yeah, if I use this, then I can uh, charm the Pain Weaver here. That will help us significantly. Alright. Let's dominate the Black Ring Pain Weaver. There we go. That will make us uh, vulnerable for a little bit, but thankfully it seems like the Bone Golem's got us covered. And the Pain Weaver will do uh, the majority of the work here. To help things uh, move along nice and clean. Alright, they're doing some uh, shenanigans there. I, I respect it. Okay, Black Ring uh, Pain Weaver is moving up. Trying to attack our Bone Golem, ruin his defenses. We should be fine, all things considering. That said, I'm gonna need to make some uh, more corpses here. Convert them into better things, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh well. At least we got one of the go bone golems on our side. Indirectly, mind you, so it's not breaking the rule that I've set before me, where I can only summon three different types of units. Mind you, I break that rule from time to time, but not this time around. Shouldn't need to. Oh, this guy has source points. Oh, that's interesting. Ow. Did he stop? Pain Weaver's doing work. Alright, Bone Golem's getting defensed up. I do need to deal with this guy at some point, but for now... What I need to do is I need to use haste, increase our movement. I'm gonna use peace of mind. I'm gonna use uncanny evasion just to give myself a boost here. Okay, we can then. Okay, we can't exactly deal with him just yet. I could silence him, prevent him from using any magic, but that isn't going to solve the problem. 
Uh, let's see, 244, 271, that's not going to be enough to take him down. Uh, I... Yeah, Petrify won't work again. Well, actually, no, Petrify would work against him, I do believe. Because I do have the ability... Uh, yeah, no, I should have the... Talent ability? Of Torture, here we go. Uh, let's see. Burning, Poisoned, Bleeding, Necrofire, Acid, Suffocating, Entangled, Death Wish, and Ruptured Tendons. Okay, so it doesn't apply for Petrify. Which kind of sucks. But I mean, it could be worse. Uh, I guess the best thing I can think of is destroy his magical armor. And the best thing I can do here is just silence the guy. Get rid of his ability to cast spells, and there you go. It'll be a little easier on us. To some extent, anyways. The evasion will at least help us. Another swap happens, nice. Okay, we're gonna get into Necrofire territory. I think my best bet is to use Spread My Wings here, get the evasion up. But we'll have to see. But either way, I'm going to need to increase my magic armor at this rate, so... Yee. That's going to be a bit of a hustle. Definitely going to fly next turn, I think. Just for my safety. Okay, nice whirlwind. <laughs> okay, we're going to use Spread My Wings here. There we go. We'll use Armor of Frost to increase my defenses. There we go. We will fortify. Back on that. Okay, we can now use Rock Volley here. There we go, he's now petrified. And I am going to jump myself up to right beside the Black Ring Pain Weaver, actually. And I'm going to use this chance to, I guess. Yeah, let's inflict some poison. Why not? More damage across the board. There we go. Got some taunt here. Nice. Never hurts to have. Definitely going to need to use that uh, magic armor ability again, but all in due time. We'll eventually demolish enemies, it's just a matter of time more than anything. <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting choice. Staff of Magnus. Not what I'd usually expect, but hey, it's ability. Yeah, no, they're definitely focusing on the uh, golem. That's actually a good thing for us. <laughs> that 2k armor is certainly making its waves. Okay. Well, I can set myself entangled. There's no harm in that as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, let's target all three here. There we go. Nice, that entangles all of us. Now, can I get a charm on somebody? I could charm the Black Ring Destroyer, but let's check to make sure I can. He has permanent evading, that's insane. Okay, uh, doesn't appear that he can... Yeah, no, he's not resistant to what is going on. Uh, just to check, though... Okay, this guy is not sworn to the God King. So, I should be able to tame this Black Ring Destroyer, supposedly. Let's try it. Why not? Worst case, it doesn't work. 
No, it does work. Okay. Black Ring Destroyer is now under my thrall. And to save myself some trouble, I'm going to haste myself again this turn. Just reset my duration. That is going to help me significantly. And we'll get a very powerful unit helping us, basically. Or at least, in destroying the enemy. <laughs> okay, they have opted to focus on me, which, respectable choice. I'd probably do the same myself, given I'm the caster. Summoner, mind you. Okay. Yeah, so far the black uh, ring destroyer is getting his uh, getting clapped, but we'll be fine. Okay. Violence. Oh. Ah, oh, that's a miss. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we are going to need to use Armor of Frost here just to reinforce our body. Make sure we're healing up our magic armor. We are going to hit them with the... Blood Rain, I think? Yeah, this will cause bleeding for living targets anyways. This guy's shocked, surprisingly. So we can get the stun on the Pain Weaver if we really want it, but I don't think I need to do that much. Uh, let's go for the Petrify there. And let's summon another unit to battle just to get some more economy going in the fight. Goodness knows our uh, units are running dry, so might as well uh, pack on some more just to add to the fight. Alright, use the other corpse. There we go. And that is our unit for, you know, violence. <laughs> oh, we've got one extra point. Nice. We will use this to reset peace of mind to give ourselves a extra boost to damage next turn. Might as well keep the uh, boost to everything. Just, you know, skyrocketing, if you will. Okay, that's some damage. More damage there. We are going to have to get rid of this Bone Golem, so... Only a matter of time. Okay, you take out... You're doing damage to the Assassin, nothing too crazy. Blood Barrage, interesting choice. Oh, you're doing it again. That isn't going to help in the long... Well, I guess it does deal physical, so it does matter. Okay. You're going to damage me. Nothing too crazy. We should be able to make this managed. Oh, there we go. Nice. The Blackwing Destroyer is doing some work. Thankfully. Alright, I will use this chance to wire these guys in place using the Vine Grasp. I really should have uh, dropped somebody over there first, though. That's my mistake. Uh, I will use Uncanny Evasion here, just to give myself a boost here. Okay, and from there, we can actually dominate the mind of the Destroyer again. But I might as well do that. There we go. Oh, we got one extra point as well, so that's nice. As for what we'll use it on... I guess restoring haste is the best choice I can think of. Getting more haste is always nice. If only for the points. <laughs> okay, there goes my golem. That's fine. I was going to summon him again anyways, when we get the chance. But yeah, no, these guys are going to be... Uh, Taking a lot of hits. Or at least the Black Wing Destroyer is. And we'll see how things pan out. 
Needless to say, this is an unexpected fight, so... Yeah. Hello. They continue attacking me. Yes, it seems to be the case. Is it gonna stop me, though? Oof. That is a lot of damage to the enemy. Jeez. I was right to, uh... Tame the Black Ring dis Black Ring Destroyer. Like, jeez. Uh, I can teleport one of their comrades over there. Uh, let's teleport his Pain Weaver over. Uh, he is gonna be stuck for one more round after all, but still. Never hurts to do this. There we go, just lock everybody in place. I'd fireball, but I don't think I can do that. So that sucks to suck. Although I could do this, and cause a metric buttload of bleed to everybody who is an enemy, at least. There we go. And I'm going to save this point. Yeah, let's save the point for a rainy day. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this bone smasher, to be honest. I'll live. Besides, I got other uh, summons that I can utilize for this exact purpose. I guess so. Oof. But regardless, they're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> To their ally, no less. But that's just how the cookie crumbles. Any tactics we can take, we'll take. We'll take. Oh, casting curse on the ground. Interesting choice. An exactly, assassin. Yes, you are. Should be fine though. Alright, well, obviously we're gonna go for the Dominate Mind here. Lock the Black Ring Destroyer into combat there. We are going to... If I could, I'd use Teleportation on the Pain Weaver here and lock them in. But we don't have the luxury, so I'm going to instead... Let's summon a... Elementalist, because they are going to cast elemental damage, obviously. Okay. We have some, uh, only one point. Interesting. Uh, we are going to lose out on our haste, but... Yeah, no, I'm going to have to get some more haste, so I'm going to hit myself up with the haste. That should help me out a little bit. While the caster deals in some magic damage to get some stuns and whatnot off. Besides, the Blackwing Destroyer is going to be doing a lot of damage, so there you go. Alright. Okay, they're unleashing magic to stun my good man. For three rounds, no less. Jeez. Four rounds. Okay. Well, that makes our job infinitely easier, as they've just locked down the biggest damage dealer for them. For themselves, that is. I'm not complaining. That's a good thing for us. <laughs> they've made my jar job arguably easier for doing this. Ow. Oh, the bone golems to uh, start running amok. Okay. Let's use peace of mind first. Get ourselves some boost to accuracy and whatnot. Uh, we are going to need to do large AoE damage if I want to whittle somebody down. Or 
focus damage on somebody. I think at this point it's gonna be a mad dash to whittle somebody down to a minimal number. We could deal with Rotward the Accused. Yeah, let's use Rotward here to convert him into a body that we can utilize. Okay. And I think the Rasp here is going to be the beneficial part here. We can also bind the Black Ring Destroyer here as well, so there you go. That's going to be damage across the board, so never hurts. Okay. The assassin goes in. Probably gonna go for sneak attacks. Yep, back attacks. Always good to have. Just need to focus on the weakest enemy, which is probably gonna be one of these groupies here. Above all else. At least I imagine, anyways. <laughs> coming in hot, that's expected to be quite honest. Okay, more damage coming in. Not the best thing, but hey, do what we can. Okay. I guess I could do a Witch's Brew here. It's not like it's going to affect the Undead Assassin after all. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Here we go. All of them have turned into frogs. Uh, I can also do a fireball if I really wanted to, but there's no need if... Uh, I guess I'll use spread my wings though, just so I can actually get into position. Uh, I cannot move when movement speed is at zero, but that's fine. Uh, I can charm this maiden, though, because the frog here is always going to be immobilized anyway, so whatever. Okay. Golem's getting antsy. Oh, we've got a warp. Interesting choice. Okay, there goes my assassin. Pain Weaver's using shackles on my charmed individual. It's a respectable choice. And they're going for the violence there. Not going to help them into slightest though. Yeah, there we go. The Scorch is coming in hot. <laughs> Bone Smasher's getting back into position to... Oh, no, he's moving further away, actually. Which is an interesting choice. Not sure why you're over there. But I can easily fix that. Yeah, let's just get you back right into the action. Please go over there, fleet, for your safety. Oh, the black... Undead Black Ring Destroyer got killed? How? Hmm. That is unexpected. Yeah, I guess I can do this. That'd get the damage out, if need be. Uh, can I fly anywhere? No, I'm still entangled. That's fine. Okay, let's summon a new unit here. Uh, we'll summon you on the blood here specifically. We will summon the assassin here. There we go. Now I think we have enough ability to actually handle this, but I'm not 100% certain. 
Either way, I'm going to cast haste upon myself, just to give myself an extra bit of movement, and we'll see how things pan out. Assassin is going to do some significant damage if it lands a hit, of course. There we go. Worst case, they're bothered. Which I'm okay with accepting. Oh, terrify. Interesting choice. Okay, they are moving... Oh, they're moving really far, apparently. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the Bone Smashers to unsummon at this point. Because it's been a while since they've been up. Although, killing the casters would be an ideal method, I think. Oh well. For now, I guess we need to focus on the ring finger handmaiden. Yeah, might, might as well focus on her, right? No harm in it. Unless we want to focus on the black ring pain weaver, but meh. Let's just focus on her. We've got the damage. I think we can manage. There we go. Uh, we will silence her. There we go. We are going to use Mosquito Swarm to give her bleed. There we go. And I guess we will petrify her. There we go. Now she can't do anything. And that's just going to minimize her potential for the future. Well, that will prevent her from recovering, hopefully. Depending on her luck, really. No matter. All the same, we'll get the job done in the end. Just a matter of time. Assassin's going for the Black Ring Pain Weaver. Respectable choice. Fear Maiden's gonna go down, though. That's the plan. Alright, that's a shock. We could actually get the uh, stun condition if we're smart about it. And you, you're now... Oh, you're actually shocked. I can stun you now. Oh, but you're healing. Okay. How are you healing? Why are you healing? Is it... Hmm. That is an interesting situation. Okay, hold on. Okay, so it's clear that these guys are healing their wounds. They're still full health for some reason. Okay, the Pain Weaver is connected to these two. Is it connected to... No, it's not connected to Fear Maiden. I wonder... Is it directly connected to the wildfire that they're suffering from? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Shackles of Pain Caster. Do I need to deal with him? It's a permanent effect. Oh, it might be the Pain Weaver here that's causing all this mess, isn't it? Hmm. I'm gonna have to deal with him first, aren't I? Or at least I think I am. I mean, if I teleport him far enough... Like, say, I don't know, out here. There we go, he's forced over there. We are going to lock him in place. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, he's frozen. He is entangled. Uh, he doesn't take much fire or air damage, but that's fine. If I mute him, it's going to take some serious damage. There we go. Oh, but he's muted from the damage, huh? Okay. But yeah, no, if I lock them out of uh, the distance, then... Okay, they're still healing all the same. Okay, that one's healing. Hmm. I don't know what's going on, huh? It's a really weird instance of uh, things not working in my favor, huh? There's clearly a gimmick here, and I'm just not sure how it's meant to go down. I guess I could look it up. There's no harm in, uh... This game's old enough that I can just probably do that without too much consequence. Although it is more fun to do it this way. I must admit. Uh, let's see. You guys are still healed up. I mean, it could just be the bone smashers that are causing this. Um, you know what? Let's do a Google check. There, there's no harm in doing so, and it will help us figure out what's going on. But before that, let's buff up at least, and make sure we're ready for next turn at least. Get, get fully ready. We'll just let the uh, them attack our minions and do so in a respectful manner. That's a miss. Okay, you're moving up. <laughs> Probably trying to get back into position, for obvious reasons. Okay, I don't think this has helped them heal any. Okay, hmm. Okay, I guess we are going to... Okay, we can't do that, so we're gonna have to frogify the guy. But that's fine. That prevents him from doing anything. Uh, now is he gonna heal? Doesn't look like he is. Uh, physical damage is not gonna cut it, so... Uh, I can launch these missiles here and deal the magic damage there. There we go. That's even more. Okay, we can quickly set up an oil area here. Prevent him from moving. There we go. The oil will slow his movement. And I will throw down a Blood Rain here, just to continue to weaken him. Get the bleed down. That's going to be even more damage to him. Hopefully that'll be enough, but we'll see. But I do believe that unless I deal with the pain, dude, then uh, things are just going to continue getting in a mess. What are you doing now? You're walking over there to try and prevent me from killing you, but 
I want to focus you down for this exact purpose. Okay, you're gonna attack him. Oh, no, you're gonna terrify my character there, but that's fine. I will outlive. Okay, it seems like they've uh, not healed, so that's a good thing. I still need to deal with the Pain Weavers here, no matter what. Okay, he is forced to be stunned. There we go. Now we can burn the ever-living daylights out of him. There we go. And I think I can get away with a burn here, and this would deal even more damage. Uh, let's see. What else can I do here? Is there anything I can do that will cost two mana that will increase the amount of damage I'm dealing to this guy? If I use Impalement, I can actually deal even more damage with the explosion. There we go, and the fire should take him out with the burn. At least that's the hope. Yeah, no, the Pain Weaver should be in a position where he's going to really suffer now. I just have to avoid, uh... Yeah, no, he goes down. That breaks the chain. And the Pain Weaver here should be the only other one I should worry about. Although that doesn't change the fact that I'm going to need to increase my magic armor, so... I'm probably going to need to use a scroll here, or a potion, dare I say. Uh, let's see, potions. We've got some... We got anything for... Yeah, we've got an armor of frost here, so we'll use that. There we go, that'll increase our magic armor enough. Okay, we want to deal with the pain weaver next. So we're going to warp you all the way over to, well first, let's see, I can reach that, okay, good. I just wanted to check to make sure I could get the Petrify off before I launched him over here. There we go. We are going to Petrify him to lock him in place. There we go. And we are going to activate haste to increase our action economy. There we go. Okay, she's teleporting Steve away, that's fine. In fact, I could probably use some of the bodies around here to uh, get some more minions. Such as the Black Ring Destroyer, for example. And I'm half tempted to do so. Ow. Alright, let's get some fodder. Alright, we're gonna use the Black or the Black Ring Reaver there to get a Boom Golem. We are going to get an Undead Assassin here. We are going to get an Elementalist using the Corpse over using the Black Ring Pain Weaver. Alright. And just for the sake of safety, well, no, let's use peace of mind. This is going to increase our peace a little bit there. At least get our accuracy and all of those stats up. It never hurts to have. Every boost counts. Okay, death resist on the assassin, interesting choice. I will be using wings probably to get into position so I can deal with the black ring pain weaver here next. Or at least that is the intended goal. That way I can then focus on the other two that are causing problems. They're gonna try and wail on me. Respectable choice. Respectable. 
Although, that isn't going to help you too much as I... Where are my wings? I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to hop over to here. Should be enough. Alright, we are going to throw down a lockdown on the pain weaver here. There we go. And we're just going to wail on this guy. I guess silence would be the best choice here. There we go, he's now silenced, can't do anything. Alright, Bone Golem is going to get prepped and ready to do a violence. And once we deal with the Pain Weaver, then we don't have to worry about the other two, I don't think. Unless we have to separate those two as well, but... I don't think we have to worry about them, as far as I'm concerned. But regardless, it seems like they're not healing any, so... It probably just was one of the Pain Weavers uh, chaining the list, and... Uh making the combo impossible to pull off unless we separate them far enough from the caster. But, I digress. Destroy the root of the cause, and we should be good. I really should probably invest in the uh, ability to make my summons... Uh... Oh, I got teleported. Okay. Well, I mean, thanks for that. I can now go up to here instead. Okay, we are going to cast haste on ourselves. And I guess we're whittling this guy down. Uh, he's able to move now. Which kind of sucks. Well, actually, no. We, we can actually prevent that by using Void Assault. There we go. On him there. We actually managed to preserve one mana. So we will just whittle him down even further with Arcane Volley. Yep, he's down to 500. I'm kind of surprised. Oh no, he goes after me, so he just goes immediately after. There you go. Fear Maidens are desperately trying their best to save his butts. They did manage to get him back over here though. Although, I intend to fully take him out at this point. Whether they want to, uh, try and salvage this or not. <laughs> I should be able to just jump over and, uh, whittle him down. Or at least try. Oh, well. Worst case, it doesn't work. Best case, it does. So yeah, what I do here is I just jump over to right behind this one. Alright, I'm gonna throw down some poison here. Oh, you're actually healing. Okay, that's not good. Um, let's warp you as far as possible here. Like, right over here, I guess. Okay, uh, we're gonna drop you right over here. Or somewhere here. Okay. Oh, I can't actually teleport you, huh? Alright, fine. I will... I can't teleport you either. Okay, so... Basically, plan backfired. Okay, uh, we're gonna just... Petrify you, then. Hope you don't heal. And I guess we'll see how, how things pan out. Okay, you're getting too close. I guess that's how you heal, then. You guys get too close to one another. I don't know. 
We'll figure it out. Ow. We're really doing their damn just to get me dealt with. I guess the Bone Smasher might be healing him, actually. That could also be the reason. Yeah, the Bone Smashers do actually heal, so maybe he's, like, chaining the pain to get it done. I don't know. Regardless, I need to whittle him down. And I guess I'll just teleport him as far as I possibly can, just to make sure I guarantee his death. There we go. Okay. I can get 300 or so damage from this. There we go. And a Assured Fireball should do it. Alright, okay, I guess the Fireball just missed. Oh well. Oh, Flaming Skin Rice. That would do it. Oh, he's just Nether Swap. Okay, Nether Swap, okay. And, of course, they're going for the heals. <laughs> Alright, well... I really don't want you to... go. So, I guess I'm going to... Alright, spread my wings. Alright, let's use Armor of Frost to give myself a boost. Okay, let's... Okay, I can't fly when my movement speed's zero. Are you kidding? I can just barely get the fire here, but that's not what we need. We need something better. Ah, pain. Oh, uh, what's currently stopping me? Entangle, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Uh, the best I can do is charm the Black Fear Maiden here. I think. Alright, and I'm gonna have to cast Haste for my next turn. And get ready to assail him with as much damage as I possibly can. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully she goes for the Pain Weaver. Nope, she does not. Okay. At the very least, I could damage them all together at this point, but we'll have to see how things pan out there. Either way, I'm gonna have to do a violence. Okay. Okay. Electricity. We will do, not impalement here, but uh, we can do a physical move here. It seems we can do Mosquito Swarm and Silence. There we go. And the Silence will get the kill. There we go, finally. That just leaves two Fear Maidens there. And we should be good. It's reached a point where it's actually more manageable. We're just gonna deal with you like that. Uh, I will turn the Pain Weaver into a body I can use. Alright, we're also going to summon a... Let's go Elementalist. Elementalist has some good spells that we can utilize. There we go. Just have to make sure I get the target right, but for obvious reasons, there you go. And we'll just demolish what we can. 
Okay, this brings Death Resist in. Fear Maiden's coming over. Okay, Fear Maiden's running off until she can uh, actually fight. But respectfully, she can't. Regardless, we'll do the violence. We're gonna focus on this Fear Maiden because she is going next in turn order. So might as well take out the threats while she's still available. We are actually going to make an effort to teleport her companion right next to her. Because this will deal damage to both of them. There we go. We will then do the Vine Grasp to lock them both in place. And we'll even go as far as to use Poison to deal damage to them both. There we go, they're now, now both poisoned and locked in place with Entangle. That is going to make our job easier in dealing damage to them. And I can actually chain this up quite nicely with Arcane Volley, which is really good. Uh, actually, most of them can actually be chained this way, so that's nice. Okay, they're doing a violence there, nice. Okay, there goes one. And I guess I'll whittle down the other one now. There we go. And... I'll do a fireball, I guess. Alright, that's not enough. Okay, uh, let's do... Earth. Earth damage. Boom. There we go. Nice. That was a chore. And a half. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to yield any results, but... I guess I could try... Hmm. I think I might have done this wrong. In which case, oh god, I might have glitched the quest. Hold on. I might have to reload here. Which... Kinda sucks, because we'd be going back over here, but let me check to be sure. Because I'm pretty sure this tree has something to do with the quest, I'm just not 100%. Uh, I will need to check the, uh... Let me check the piles of bodies first before I start, you know, assuming. Let's see. The sinking of the orc fleet, the destruction of the Shadow Tower, the failed assassinations of Godwoken, the petrification of no less than four succubi. All of these failures can be attributed to the same demon. S wants you to uncover the name and bring him to a heel. Hmm. Interesting. We got some interesting items. We got the destroyer's gloves, actually. Ooh. Three might, two endurance, and both fire and endurance resistance. Pretty cool. Okay. Oh, an ornate chest is in here, huh? What's in here then? Take those. Okay, anything worthwhile noting in here? Not really. As far as I can tell, anyways. But I mean, this does answer the question of Blood Moon Isle, I think. We just need the name, is the problem. The Ancestor Tree... Okay. not sure how I uncover the name of this Ark Demon.
Alright, Pain Weaver might have it. Here we go. Ornate Himmel. Oh, hello. Spirit of a Black Ring here. The spirit looks around with wild panic, clawing through its spectral mass with fevered nails. Why did the. Uh, why did you come to this island? The demon feeds. The demon feeds from the ring. The demon protects. We must know what the demon protects. The demon has an advocate. The advocate kills. The demon has a secret. We must know the secret. Okay. Hmm. The spirit keeps glancing back. How can I help? Okay, so it appears that I, I know that the tree is involved in some capacity. I just not sure how. Hmm. The taming of the holy fire. Guardian burning bright with sourceful flame. Abide the sacred call. Reveal the godsless hall. Winged kinker, keeper, song goth bid you break. The priest shall scry the demon's lies. The chains await their captive. From stone to dust, some dust. And the quest is what? It was a hunter of wicked things. Uncover the arc demon's real name. Okay, so give me a second to look it up. I do believe I can figure this out with uh, a bit of help from the wiki. Okay, we've done that first part. Okay. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm just, apologies if I'm taking so long, I'm just trying to uh, figure out the solution here. Ah. Here we go. I got it, I got it. There we go. I just had to click a bit. The tree's spirit embraces its putrid host, an elven ancestor lost to the same demonic disease that infects all of Blood Moon Island. Queen, Mandukad. Omnio Myrtus Acts. It's Quox Potest Exe. I greet the spirit by name. Elea Nessa. I know her story. She is safe with me. A moment passes. Then you feel it. Clarity. You speak my name. You know my torture. Please, don't judge me for the sickness my roots have spread. I can be free, my soul cleansed. What of the Archivist Journal, and how did you come to be possessed? Naivety, stupidity, call it what you want. I wish to put the source within me to good use, and demonology seemed as good a use as any. Silly me. I meant to summon an imp or two. Instead, I ended up hosting a damned archdemon. The roaring in my head. The craving for living flesh. Urges. Good gods, the urges to kill, to hurt. The stronger they became, the harder I fought. And at some point, I was just gone. Deadened, but not dead. And then, 
away on an aisle I've never been, encircled by faces I've never seen, watched by a man I've never known. They called him Doctor. He shouted strange words and the demon bellowed. Then, one by one, I... There's no need for you to continue your painful story. Then let's leave the pain of the past and focus instead on the hope of the future. You seek freedom. How can I help? You awakened me from nightmare with a single utterance. My name. How amazing that a name could wield so much power. Remember this lesson when you leave Blood Moon Island. The demon blackens another land now. It possesses the very doctor that liberated it. Oh. Speak its name, however, and you expose it. You weaken it. You'll know him when you find him. A doctor that accommodates a demon doesn't see patients, only victims. Destroy it. And you free me to the Hall of Echoes. Destroy it, and my roots taint this isle no longer. Now come closer. I'll say the demon's name only once. Alright, I step closer and shut my eyes. I am ready. The spirit's voice is a harsh whisper. I try my link. All right, Adra Malik. That is the name of the very demon that has caused so much suffering for this island. Mind you, there's a few other things I want to explore here, but for now, I'm going to warp back, and I want to, uh... I intend to actually wrap it up, because, well, it's getting late, and I don't want to go too far into things. But I will at least finish up this bit. I apologize if it was a shorter session than usual. I really should have streamed it earlier, but... I at least did want, wanted to get this content out to you guys and get something out. This was the intent of just streaming, even if it was only two hours. It is a dark thing to contemplate the demon's name. Perhaps you can shed light on the matter. The doctor... The demon is in the Dr. Deva himself, and his real name is Adra Melek. Jahan looks at you utterly flabbergasted, but soon an air of serenity descends upon him, that of a chess player overlooking the board. Adra Malik. You have to admire his cunning. To think that in his guise of Deva, he and I shared the finest wines in the realm. Stories of the women we have loved. Thank you, Godwoken. You have done me an unparalleled service. And you've quite humbled me at the same time. You must go your path. I mine. So that I may confront the Archdemon in his lair. In the great city of Arx. Please accept this token of gratitude, and fare thee well. In turn for our services, we get a nice little item that we can choose from. Out of the four that we are going to go with, um... Honestly, nothing seems to stick out too crazy in any sense of the word. Speed, Scoundrel, Geomancer, Neomant, Necromancer, nothing really sticks there. Uh, the boots are a little weaker than what we could get. Uh, the gloves, we could definitely go with an upgrade here. If we want to get some insane physical armor, mind you. Or we could just go for a straight upgrade in this regard. We'll lose out on most of the stuff that we've been collecting, but... 139 armor? Not bad. 
Honestly, I'm going to say no to the first sin. I think I'm going to go with the fist percussion, simply due to the fact that it has more value, I personally think. I could probably go with something else, but the percussion is arguably the best out of the choices here. So I'm going to go with that. Now, mind you, this isn't going to complete the entire thing, but hey. We did manage to complete the mission, though, and I'd say things are going quite well. But I digress. There's a uh, few demons here that we can uh, quickly yoink of their goodies. Not that they had anything. But, yeah, no, I'm gonna wa wrap this thing up. I think we've managed to do quite a lot. Well, within the short period of time that we had. Uh, we managed to not only help the cows, but we've managed to not only uh, deal with the excavation site, but we've managed to help Jahan in his quest to deal with an Ark Demon, which we may or may not be dealing with in the near future. We'll have to see. For next stream, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing the uh, Blood Moon Isles, and we're going to try and get the few other things that are hidden away here, mainly in the underground depths there. And I think the last priority we need to focus in on is actually Riker and a few other quests in the graveyard. But once we are done that, we could probably go over to Cloister... well, roughly around Cloisterwood, because there is the merchant here who's looking for a corpse explosion scroll, or spell, or whatever have you, and we'll see about giving her something like that. But I digress. I know it was a short stream, like I said before, but I'm trying to get back into things, so even if it is a little bit shorter, I want to get content out to you guys, so this is my way of doing things. So, I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I'll see you guys next stream. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.